Whether it's been for gaming or productivity, I've always enjoyed a larger mouse pad when it comes to my setups. And at the start of quarantine, when I got a new gaming rig slash workstation, I figured why not upgrade my accessories since I was doing more gaming, and thus landing me on the glorious extended mouse pad. While not all desks may permit for such an extended style of mouse pad, I found in my experience, in general with larger mouse pads, to be more than satisfactory when it comes to day-to-day -day use or getting that ever so slight edge in the world of gaming. Hey everyone, Adrian here for Digital Dojos, and today we're taking a look at the glorious PC Gaming Race Extended Pro Gaming Mousepad. Glorious is no stranger to the world of gaming and PC peripherals. They offer their own line of mice, as well as, well, the pad for them to sit on top of. In my case, I ended up wanting to upgrade uh, to a extended mouse pad again after having previously used one in the past, and then after not gaming for a while and getting a smaller desk, ended up switching back to a standard size mouse pad. Um, the Glorious Extended Pro I ended up coming into because of its quality, its price point. I got mine around $25, $26. That's typically what it retails, anywhere around there. Um, and honestly, the color scheme was a huge factor. I wanted one in white, and Glorious makes a really simple design extended version without too many logos or branding on it. They just have a small logo in the bottom right, um, and it fit my overall aesthetic and vibe perfectly. Uh, speaking of which, I'm currently in the new studio. As you see, this black and white theme is a trend here. Um, I have a tour of this whole studio coming up, but if you want to check out the behind the scenes, check out my lifestyle and vlog channel down below. Shameless plug. All right, jumping back into the review, the Glorious Extended Pro mouse pad comes in at 11 by 36 in terms of inches and in its dimensions. That's 28 by 91 in terms of centimeters and a thickness of three millimeters. Now the extended is the middle product line in terms of their mouse pads that they offer. They offer a large, extra large, extra large extended, the extended that we're looking at, the extra, extra large extended, and then the three XL extended. So basically they have six lines of products you can cover just your mouse to your entire desk with glorious mouse pads if you want to. And it's almost unfair to call it a mouse pad because obviously at this size, it covers a lot more. You put your your uh, keyboard here, you can end up putting your monitor on top of this thing. Like it really depends on what you're going for there. Um, it's built with a foam core interior, a cloth based pad on top. It also featured stitching, ed stitched edges to negate lift, a rubber base to provide a non-slip friction bottom. And bonus, all of these uh, glorious mouse pads are machine washable. So it's a huge, huge uh, pro there and particularly useful for mine since I got it in white, which we'll talk about. But first and foremost, you're probably wondering why even get a mouse pad this big and extended to even begin with. And the honest answer is most of you probably don't even need that. Even those in the PC gaming world who care about certain stuff like this don't need it still. <laughs> um, typically in the PC gaming world, we'll care more about sensitivity when it comes to mice and control that you have when it comes to using this peripheral. Um, you may lower, play with a lower sense or a higher sense, adjust your DPI or your in-game sense depending on the type of games you play. So FPS shooters, things like CSGO or now Valorant, um, where aim and precision matter more, people tend to typically play with a lower sensitivity because it gives them more control. However, that means with lower sense, you have to physically move your mouse more on the physical surface to cover more area. So to do a 180, to do a 360, to do a flick shot, you have to move your mouse more at lower sense. Whereas with higher sense, you can move in game faster while covering less ground physically. So moving less left, right, up, down, but you lose the level of granular detail and control and precision there. Everybody's different, everybody learns and plays at different styles and methods depending on your hardware, but it's the general kind of philosophy there. Now, an extended large gaming mouse pad gives you the best of both worlds where you can have a larger surface area to move your mouse around and still go with lower sense to have that control. And the reason that's useful is because you'll see people who have a, a smaller mouse pad when they play at lower sense, let's say this is the edge of it, they have to do this thing where they lift off, recenter, lift off, recenter. Whereas if you have all that space, you can really easily move around much more, um, you know, to cover your traction there. Now, you gotta be aware and try not to throw out that elbow or anything there, but at the end of the day, it gives you that functionality while giving you all of that extra space. Uh, outside of that, I will just say outside the world of gaming, I've also just enjoyed having the extra traction and, and surface area to cover anyway uh, as a whole. Uh, and I personally am not a professional gamer by any means. I even prior to this mouse pad, um, you know, never really cared about sensitivity and all that. I was so used to using high DPI based mice because I was a more of a productivity mice user. It wasn't until I switched to this Razer Viper Ultimate and played games like Valorant that I had to learn the importance of lower sensitivity and precision. And I will say the glorious extended mouse pad in that sense 
aided in that transition, having that extra space while having to really get used to a much, much lower sense than I was used to. It helped me build that muscle memory while having all of that extra space to kind of give me some forgiveness in, in a sense. Um, from a design and aesthetic perspective, I love the design, the clean look. And um, also it just kind of helps center the space, right? Having my keyboard and everything like that. It's like a rug for your desk at the end of the day. In terms of quality, the Glorious Extended Mouse Pad has held up tremendously well over the six plus months that I've been using it. Um, the stitched edges, everything out of the box came pretty clean. They do say that you may get some frayed edges out of the box and you can snip those. I had to snip like one or two edges, but outside of that, it's held up amazingly well. And um, the overall quality and the durability of it has held up really, really well. And in addition, with it being a cleanable mouse pad, it has added to the longevity of it. So this mouse pad as a whole, it's, it has a really great heft to it, a great quality to it. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to slip around anywhere. It does a really great job of that, just in the sheer size of it. Um, but obviously mine being white and after usage, after me putting my coffee mug on it, eating food at the desk and just general day-to-day -day usage, your, your grubby palms and hands are on it for hours at a day, it's going to show some wear and tear. And after months of usage, you can see here disgustingly, mine has definitely discolored a bit and, and got all sorts of stuff spilt and rubbed off on it. So with that, you have the cleaning options. Now, Glorious recommends you do one or two things. You can throw it in a machine, you know, a laundry machine and just wash it simply with a cold cycle and a little bit of laundry detergent. And I'll be honest, 80 to 85% of the stuff there, honestly for me, came out in that first wash. Um, you air dry it afterwards. I recommend patting it with a towel and then leaving it to hang to air dry. You don't necessarily need to leave it in direct sunlight, just leave it to dry. Within 24 hours, it should be good to go. Um, or you can do the do-it-yourself method, which I recommend doing anyway or in addition to the machine wash um, because what I did for the remainder, like 10 to 15% of the stubborn stains that were in there, you submerge it in a bathtub just ever so slightly, fill the tub just a little bit to cover the mouse pad, use a sponge or a brush, and just kind of go over those stains with uh, like dish soap or laundry detergent. And honestly, after that, it got majority of everything out of there. It, re it restored the overall mouse pad to its former glory. Get it? Because it's a glorious mouse pad. Anyways, moving on. Uh, yeah, it came out looking brand new is what I'm trying to say after doing both methods. And that's a really great aspect of something like this, especially in white. I, it felt like it fell out of the box and it looks like it does out of the box. And it continued to function as it did prior. The edges didn't rip, they didn't tear. I thought that they would definitely show some signs of wear and tear after the washing and the cleaning. But honestly, it held up really, really well. And I can't complain about the overall quality, especially at its price point. Needless to say, it held up and it has held up and will continue to hold up over the time and usage of it. And I think that um, at its price point, you really can't beat its quality. Um, at the end of the day, the Glorious Mousepad isn't going to make you a better gamer out of the box. However, what it does do is it sets you up for success. It gives you the opportunity to learn and grow accustomed and gain those mechanical and muscle memory based skills uh, that may give you an indeed a slight edge in the gaming sphere if those are the things you care about otherwise again it adds to your overall setup it's a nice addition piece and at 25 to 30 dollars i think it's simply the best bang to buck uh, in its space uh, for what it offers cons wise really it doesn't necessarily come down to the glorious pad itself rather just making sure that you have the actual surface area to accommodate a desk pad like this or a mouse pad like this. So do your measurements, make sure that uh, it can fit well. Obviously, Glorious offers a bunch of options out there for you to choose from. But at the end of the day, they simply did a great job on this line. Um, and again, if you're looking for a larger mouse pad or looking to upgrade to a larger mouse pad, definitely take a look at Glorious's line of pro gaming mouse pads. You will not be disappointed. With that, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like the video, and subscribe for more tech content to this channel. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.